Hey, I'm Jonathan Youngman, founder and executive director of Franklinton PsychoWorks. Every day, thousands of Columbus residents struggle to get where they need to go. It's called transportation insecurity and it's closely associated with chronic poverty. One in five of our Columbus neighbors currently live below the poverty line. The majority of whom don't have access to reliable transportation. For many, a bike can provide a way forward. Cycling is the primary mode of transportation for hundreds of thousands of people across the country. But in studies, 60% of low-income residents report that the cost of a bicycle is the primary barrier to bike commuting, while another 25% report that the cost of repairs is a major barrier. In truth, the bicycle industry in the United States does not do a particularly good job of supporting those who need bikes for everyday transportation. Department store bikes, while cheap, are designed to be toys and often break down when used for commuting. Bike shop bikes are much higher quality, but are simply too expensive for many people to afford, as is the case with repairs and safety accessories. Cycling can be a sustainable form of transportation for many people, but we need a new kind of bike shop and a new business model, one that prioritizes equitable access, education, and empowerment. Franklin and CycleWorks was founded on these principles and has developed a nonprofit social enterprise that caters specifically to those who need bikes for everyday transportation. CycleWorks is very much a full service bike shop, but it's also a community center where people have access to free education and low cost bikes, parts, and accessories. Over the years, CycleWorks has helped hundreds of individuals, provided thousands of hours of education and assistance, and redistributed some 2,000 bikes back into central Ohio. And for many, we're providing more than a bike. We're helping folks stay employed, get an education, and visit with friends and family. The model has proven popular and PsychoWorks has grown rapidly. Last year, despite the pandemic, total transactions were up 489% over 2017, and sales rose by 672%. But sales, tra sales transactions aren't the full story. Co-op memberships, which provide free access to education and tools, have risen by 300% over the last three years. And requests for free bicycles and educational programming has far outstripped our current capacity. The limiting factor isn't demand, it's capacity, which is why we need to grow. I'm asking for $30,000 today to help us finalize our $170,000 expansion project, which will double our physical space enable us to serve more people and generate more revenue. We estimate that over the next two years, annual revenue will grow by 140%, and by 2025, we'll have two more shops in the region. That growth will enable us to provide 23,000 person hours of education and assistance by 2025, representing impact growth of 440%. Transportation insecurity is pervasive in the United States and a key contributor to the poverty crisis but you have the opportunity to invest in a model that empowers individuals to get where they need to go, both around town and in life. Hey, Jonathan, how are you? Doing well, thanks. Oh, bro, did I cut you off? Oh, go go ahead, you're, no, you go, you go first. Uh, Jonathan, quick question. Um, so I buy into the premise, but what I'm curious about is where are the jobs around your location that people can bike to that reinforces the premise? Sure, that's a great question. So for a lot of folks, bikes are part of their transportation. A lot of folks will combine bikes with um, public transportation with busing, which really opens up the rest of the city. Um, so for a lot of folks, it's what's called the first and last mile that bikes can cover, getting to the bus stop and then getting from the bus stop to their place of employment. Jonathan, thank you so much for, um, for the project info. Um, I was curious how you get your bikes currently and is that a sustainable model for the growth that you're expecting? Yes, thank you for that question. Yeah, so to this point, um, all of the bikes we get are donated to us. A lot of them just come in the front door. People will hear about our organization and donate that way. Um, we also host occasional bike drives, um, which bring in bikes. Um, but yeah, I do feel like it's a sustainable way forward. Um, what we've learned is that a lot of people have a bike sitting in their garage that they no longer use. Um, and they feel good about giving it to Franklin and CycleWorks because it can find 
a new home and help someone um, achieve their goals in life. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Quick question for you. Thanks again, Jonathan. Um, do you, you mentioned you might, you're, you're gonna have two new shops in the future. Will this updated bigger space be able to serve those two new shops or will those need to be completely outfitted like this, this one that you have now? That's a great question. Um, we do anticipate some um, cost sharing, which should, drive, which should uh, decrease overall costs. So we're very excited about that. Um, but we do anticipate opening two other complete shops. Um, so in a sense, they, they could be smaller than what we've got here at Franklin and Cycle Works, but they would be full functioning bike shops that could welcome people in from that particular um, community. One of the, the best things about uh, community-oriented bike shops like Franklin and Cycle Works is they really can take on the character and the flavor of the community and become um, you know, just a, a community center. Um, so yeah, we're excited to open up spaces where people from those communities feel at home, feel comfortable, and uh, can begin to build something together. Jonathan, how much do you sell your bikes for on average? It's a great question. Um, it definitely varies quite a bit, but on average, you're right around the $150 mark. Yeah, That's kind bikes of are expensive. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I will, I will know if I've got time to do so, if that's appropriate. Um, we've also launched a program called Bicycles for Independence, which is a referral-based program where people can get bikes for free um, because we recognize that a lot of people simply do not have the money.